a rather sickly tomato plant which got a in green fly infestation a few months ago. So instead of spraying it with chemicals off the side, if I leave it outside, hoverflies will come and lay their eggs on it. And then the hoverfly larvae will eat the green fly. Now when a lot of plants get attacked by green fly, they can detect the green fly saliva. And this starts a chain of chemical reaction in the plant which encourages the plant to reduce to um, start producing certain volatile organic organic compounds which can attract other beneficial insects such as parasitic wasps and hoverflies that's exactly what this has done so I've had this outside now I mean it was growing inside but I, well, it grows much better because it's a bit cold and it's gotten to grow outside but I've had it outside now for a month to attract hoverflies and I've seen quite a lot of hoverflies flying around it and it's now got lots of hoverfly larvae, so some of them are red, like this one. That one there. You can see it's looks like it might be munching on some. Bit of a green fly. Quite a few of them, and there's also some of the normal hoverfly larvae as well. I'll just try and find one. He's not very active at the moment. But there was one that was very active a minute ago. Um, I'll try and find the more active one for you guys. A couple guys. of more red ones down here. There are a couple of them there. They're the red ones again. You can see that one there is just starting to, I think, to eat a couple of very small green fly. The one on the top. Just moving to the right and eating some green fly. Not sure why they're red ones. I don't know if they're a different type of hoverfly larva or what. I have noticed we do have some red coloured aphids as well. I'm not sure if this is a type of different type of aphid or if this is just because they've been eating on the red tomatoes and got pigmentation through their their system. But you can see some classic signs here of a bad aphid infestation. You've got loads of black mold, <coughs> black city mold, which is formed from all the the droppings from the aphids from all the sugar. That's a classic sign of them. It's a pretty unhealthy plant now, but I think once the aphids have been fully eaten by the hoverflies, I will. Um, I'll take it back inside, give it some heat, repot it, and it should do better. There's another green fly larva here. Sorry, hollow fly larva. There we are. There he is. Just reaching across, trying to get some more green fly. So it's working, it's just started to work now. Um, we'll leave it a few more weeks outside, see if they do a bit more of their job. But, um, can't leave it much longer, otherwise we get too cold for the tomato. But there we are. That's um, nature at work, helping me get rid of my aphid infestation. As you can see, um, it hasn't been very successful. As it's taken so long for the hoverfly larvae to get established that the plant is really suffering quite badly. But it'll work eventually, I think. I'll maybe do an update when it does.